undefeated Providence Pilots in town to battle the Brandon University Bobcats here at HLC Field. Good afternoon, everybody. Tyler Crayston alongside for the broadcast on WCGTV, Westman Communications Group. Also on our Bobcat YouTube channel. There we are. Hi, everybody. Good thing I'm wearing my hat. I don't want everybody to see my bald spot here as I age gracefully at age 40 here. And I tell you what, this Brandon University Bobcat team, you know, they made it all so close last year to getting back to the national championship tournament. They had an outstanding regular season only to fall in the championship game. And the Bobcats bound and determined to get back to that point again this season. Now, so far in this year, young season for the Brandon Bobcats. Not too shabby so far in their season opener against the defending champion St. Boniface Le Rouge. They played to a draw. Bobcats were up at the Sportsplex last weekend as well and they picked up a win over Crosstown rival ACC. For these pilots, they're off and rolling right now. You can hear them and you can see them out there in the background. They're undefeated. They played on Thursday against St. Boniface and they defeated them one to nil. Richard Hibbert had the long goal in that contest and Santiago Vasquez had the clean sheet for the pilots in that contest. Just joining our broadcast, women's contest, off and roll and where the Brandon University women's soccer team had the offense flowing like tap water in the first half. They scored six times in that first half. Brogan Henry doing the bulk load of the goal scoring. Had four goals in that first half, did Brogan Henry, the former conference all-star, and co-captain Ashley Robinson added a pair of goals. She has now five on the season, does Ashley Robinson after scoring a hat trick last Sunday up at the Sportsplex when the Bobcats defeated crosstown rival ACC. So, women's teams into the win column here on home field. To wrap up the weekend, what can the men's team do? We're about to find out here on WCGTV Westman Communications Group, up on our Bobcat YouTube channel. T. Cray flying solo for today's broadcast, Manitoba College's Athletic Conference action for you. Not too bad of a day. It's a little bit humid out here right now. And the wind, it has picked up since the women's contest and it's gonna be favoring the pilots as that wind kind of gusts left to right here at HLC Field. It was kind of maybe going sideways there a little bit, gusting a little bit there, but not too bad here right now. So we're off and rolling. There's a good open and look there for the Bobcats. No dice on that one. Haywood keeps it. Go over to big Frank J. And the Bobcats will double back. It's with the goalkeeper, Mateus Souza. Haywood with the header. Was with Ruffini. And they call them the Blue Beetle. So I try to get my wires uncrossed here for my starting lineups here. Carter Weeb is the Blue Beetle, is what they call him. So we're off and rolling here. Here's Ruffini. Over to Victor Lamb, who's in the starting lineup here for the Bobcats. Try to find Zach Wood with it. Wood was the MCAC Player of the Week, scoring twice during opening weekend. Win and a draw for the Bobcats. So Bobcats will set up here on offense. Two-man brick wall set up right now for Prov. Pilots, perfect 2-0. and oh. And that kick, twisting, turning, going towards the net. And Zach Wood was almost Johnny on the spot there. And the ball picked up by the Providence keeper, Santiago Vasquez. Had the clean sheet as Prov was 
victorious on Thursday in MCAC action. There's Frank and Jay over to Nathan Chubati, one of the co-captains on this team. Victor Andrade. And Andrade makes a pass over to Zach Wood. Wood, pardon me, Victor Lamb. <laughs> oh, geez. First broadcast of the year. You know, there's going to be a couple little mistakes sprinkled in here and there with Victor Lamb out on the floor. So Victor Lamb deflected it off the prob player and out of play. There's Mr. Zach Wood, number 18 for the Bobcats. So Lamb will be responsible for this one. Throws it in to Victor Andrade. Mateus Souza will scout the situation. That kick a little bit too much on it. And the possession will belong to Providence here. And throw in by Morello, then a header that goes out of play. Ooh, and then a slip right next to a lawn chair there. And Mateus Ruffini is A-OK. -okay. Andrade back to Souza. Co-captain Chubati will scout the situation, goes across the field to Andrade. Now to Victor Lamb. Lamb puts it sky high at the feet of Edwin Ali. Now Haywood trying to bust in. Haywood number two, there's Wood dishing it over to Frank Ajay. Ajay makes a crisp pass over to Blue Beetle. That would be Carter Weeb racing out for it and picking up the loose ball is Vasquez of the Pilots. It's a low kick, and it's picked up by Prov, but it was short-lived, a short-lived opportunity. Frank J right at midfield, got it through the legs of the Prov player. Ruffini over to Wood, the MCAC player of the week. Victor Lamb walking the tightrope, trying to thread the needle inside and could not. Edwin Ali, number 11 for the Bobcats, a whopping six foot five for the Brandon University Bobcats. That kick is up and away. Oh, we might have an injury here down on the, on the field. Ali and Souza races up to pick up the loose ball for the Bobcats, using that arm strength, sending it over to Blue Beetle. Haywood, back to the co-captain, Chibati. Right back where we started from with Chibati. We pass over to Haywood. Haywood looks up ahead, trying to find Ruffini and Will. Now Wood. Lamb corrals it, keeps it, tried to deke around the Prov player, but could not. And Jordan Morello was there step for step with number four, Victor Lamb. Victor Andrade with a mighty kick. Here's Camilo Rodriguez, great footwork. The ball right there, right on the doorstep, still with the Bobcats. Now back with the Providence Pilots as the pace starts to intensify here at HLC Field between these two teams. Ruffini finding Frank and Jay. Remember a couple of years ago when Big Frank scored an electrifying goal off the rush. He went coast to coast and found the back of the net did Big Frank a J. So 
Santiago Vasquez. Kicks that one towards midfield. It's picked up by his Prov counterparts. Picking up some major yardage are the Pilots. It's squashed though by the Bobcats. Souza, Andrade. And Victor Andrade tries to move it up. And he will. He's still flying. Kick by the pilots is up and on the way here. There's a header with it. There's a scramble for it, and Souza is equal to the task. Picking up the trash there for the Bobcats. Kicks that one. Gets up and across the midfield. The header, though, and one right back at you. Make it three, make it four, make it five, I think, if I haven't lost count. That one gets past Lamb and Wood, and there's a whistle on the play. Number 16, Bangu gives it a go. It's a good looking kick right on the mark and Souza. Couldn't be caught sleeping on that one. So he saw it all the way into the mitts. Haywood puts brakes on partially, kept his own momentum going and back come the Bobcats now. Camilo Rodriguez. Lost it, Prov picks it back up. Good pace so far as we play about 10 minutes here at HLC Field. Bobcats, Pilots, battling it out here. Prov undefeated on the season. Picture perfect 2-0, Blue Beetle. That's Carter Weeb, sends it across to Victor Lamb, who we call Drago on campus here at Brandon University. Drago hits the deck. And Shabati able to break up that passing play by Prob. Header by Frank J. We puts that one sky high. And right back at you come the pilots. Lurking in the weeds there was Kian Minar. And what great footwork there by Ruffini to keep that in play there for the Bobcats. A little slip and slide action from Frank Ajay. Blue Beetle keeps it over to Haywood. Haywood binding Camilo Rodriguez. And there's the human skyscraper himself, Edwin Ali. Tries to work it back and yeah. Victor Lamb was there to pick it up back with Ali only for the moment though. Sliding and knocking it out of play was Jordan Morello. Well, just take a look at Victor Lamb if you don't mind. Does he not look a little bit like Ivan Drago? Dolph Lundgren, Rocky IV? That's why we call him Drago. So Drago throws it in, now Ruffini. And Ruffini, fancy footwork, he could do it inside of a foam booth. Wood back to Victor Lamb. Now to Frank J. big Frank. Kicks it up over to Blue Beetle. A header, and it's just gonna sail harmlessly into the Providence Pilots bench area. Frank J. picks it up off the throw in by Carter Weeb. Haywood, like there was glue or tar on his shoe there was Ruffini, Lamb in the corner, as he looks to make a move. 
Haywood was just one, maybe two steps behind that one. Otherwise, he would have had a glorious scoring opportunity. Andrade sends it towards the net. Lurking in the weeds there, the skyscraper, Edwin Ali. And Morello throws it in, finds Gareth Rayner. Yeah, Gareth Rayner was MCAC All-Star last year. Ajay to Ali. Back over to Big Frank. Frank tries to slide it across. Works out anyway. And Zach Wood. Carter Wee puts the brakes on, shifts back. Here's Zach Wood again. Wood right on the foot of a J, trying to bust through. Bobcats right there on the doorstep. And they come oh so close one more time. But the Providence Pilots hold down the fort. And we're scoreless here in this opening half. And a really good pace between these two teams so far, if I do say so myself. Johannes Barnes, number six for Prov, centered across. Back up in the pilot territory here as they try to work their way across one more time. It is Haywood, Frank J to Chabatti, who gives that one a chop. Camilo Rodriguez, all things MVP last season was Camilo Rodriguez for the Bobcats. Also a CCAA All-Canadian. Shabati, long kick. Into the sidelines, out of the reach of Victor Lamb. So throw in, and Morello has it. Amon was there too. And here come the Bobcats with speed. Oh, it skipped over the top of the foot of Ali. Otherwise, he would have been gone. It doesn't matter anyway. Bobcats come out of there smelling like a rose. Here's Camilo Rodriguez right there. There's a loose ball, and it's in the back of the net. Finding Twine is Ruffini for the Bobcats, and they are on the board first here. About 15 minutes into this contest. And that goal so nice that we get to see it twice off the foot of Ruffini and into the back of the net. shoulder to shoulder there was Victor Lamb and Menar for Prob. That one kicked into the sideline area. And throw in, Prob looking to respond here, trailing one to nil. Cats on the board first, courtesy Mateus Ruffini. Carter Weeb, the burst of speed. Camilo Rodriguez trying to find the edge. And we got Camilo getting tangled up with that Providence player. Prov kick coming up. It's right on target. Prov will control it here. Little pass. Trying to get some breathing room was Partoza with Haywood glued to him. Haywood again trying to make a move. And here comes Ruffini, the goal scorer for the Bobcats. Puts the brakes on. 
Going to belong to the Bobcats here as they pick up some yardage and look to add to this lead here. Andrade. Lamb is there with him. Andrade kicks it up. Both going up for it there. It was Prov that won it. Tapping that one to keep it in possession of Prov. Now it belongs to Bartosa. Pilot's kick coming up here. So they get everybody to take their places here. The kick is looking good towards the net. Andrade got the first touch on it. Sails out of play. So the pilots will try the other side of the field here to see if they can get something cooking on offense. Edwin Ali had it skip over the top of his foot. Still belongs to the visitors from Otterburn. That one's into the crowd. Do it all over again. That was Gareth Rayner, number 10. All the way onto the other side of the field here. We haven't had one ball go over the top of the fence here yet. Andrade goes back for it, and there's his buddy Souza to collect. Souza, the hard sidekick, racing out to pick it up. Here go the Providence Pilots one more time, but the brakes on was Menar. Well, it was with Johannes Barnes for a moment. Kind of weld it over onto that sideline right now. Jordan Morello looks for an open teammate and we'll find one back where it started from with Morello. Heaves it up towards the net a tad bit. That one's kicked out of play. That one's thrown in. Zach Wood trying to cause a commotion and put an end to this chance opportunity for Prov. They'll double back and reset, will the pilots? Trying to find that open man and said it's Victor Andrade. Pertoza, number four, was the one who had it for the moment. A sliding Carter Weave to break it up. There's a corner kick coming up for Providence. Bobcats able to break it up. Just over 22 minutes in to this first half. Ruffini the goal scorer for the Bobcats. That long kick. Camilo Rodriguez winning the foot race. He's there first. Beating the Pilots to the punch. Now Camillo tries to make his move. Can he keep it in play? Goes off of Morello. 
possession belongs to the Bobcats. Bryson Haywood will be responsible for this one. Haywood's kick. Airmailing it towards the front of the net and it's scooped up by Santiago Vasquez. Got a player down for the Cats, a player down for the Pilots. The human battering ram is going toe to toe in front of the Providence net. It's Ruffini, the goal scorer for BU, is wincing a little bit. He's up on his feet though. One player down, I guess two of them technically for, for the Pilots here. Yeah, just joining our broadcast. BU women's team, victorious over the Pilots. A six to one final there. Brogan Henry, four goals for the Bobcats. All four of those goals. In fact, all the Bobcat goals coming in the first half. These two programs are going to be facing off again next Saturday. This time it'll be out in Otterburn. Pilots and Bobcats in the rematch. We've got two home games on the schedule for Prob next weekend. Next Saturday, Sunday, the Cats and then the CMU Blazers. For the Bobcats on the road against Prob. Back home here against Crosstown rival ACC. Zach Wood of the Bobcats off to a great start this season. He scored one goal in each of the games last weekend and got MCAC Player of the Week honors for his efforts. And coming up at halftime, don't go anywhere. Got a Bobcat player profile on Julian DeZongramel of the Bobcats. That's coming up at the end of this first half. Victor Lamb moves it up to Ruffini. Ruffini trying to get around and find the edge against Johannes Barnes towards the front of the net, racing out and smacking it back up and across midfield with a little bit of assistance as that one ricocheted off the noggin of Victor Lamb. at the feet of Gareth Rayner. Then with Morello one more time, that's number 11, Amon. So there's a whistle. Pilots will have an opportunity to set up here a little bit. Two-man walls being built up right now by the Bobcats. That's Ruffini. And number seven, Carter Weeb. And here comes the kick by Bangu. It's twisting, it's turning, a little boomerang action. A ricochet and then a header by six foot five Edwin Ali. Haywood. And Ali going step for step here. A longer stride for Edwin Ali, though. Camilo Rodriguez was in the vicinity, too. Some open real estate to work with. A Jordan Morello. Trying to spot things up. Could not. There's a battle for it going shoulder to shoulder. And Camilo Rodriguez. Quick as a lightning strike is Camilo. Back over to Victor Lamb. And Drago sends it back over to Victor Andrade. Cats reset here. A one nothing lead. Thanks to Ruffini, the goal scorer for BU. Here's Carter Weeb. Weeb's pass is picked off. Tangled up where one Bobcat, one Prov player. Lamb is there. 
to make sure no damage is done. That one deflects off the foot of Amon and out of play. So the throw in off the chest of Ruffini kept it in. Ruffini still got it back over to Victor Andrade. Gonna go all the way down the field to Souza. And right back where it started from with Andrade. In transition goes Victor Lamb. Lamb across the side of the field. That one deflected along the way off the foot of Ruffini. Back in the play here, it's Chibati. Sends it back into his own zone. Souza, Chibati. Ooh, dangerous looking pass. Victor Andrade raced out. And we got a whistle. So throw in by Prof. So you try to reply here. Make things all even Steven here. As we played about close to 30 minutes here at HLC Field. Frank and Jay leans into that one. Edwin Ali put the brakes on, caught it, lost it, gets it right back though. Camilo Rodriguez was lurking in the weeds there. That one's out of play. And Zach Wood, MCAC Player of the Week for the Cats. Throws it in, we got a whistle. Official's gonna walk it off here. Pilots putting up the wall. Andrade Rodriguez. There's the whistle and here it comes. Camilo Rodriguez, heat seeking missile. Right along the floor, right along the field there. So there's a kick right down Main Street and into Bobcat territory it goes. And we got a foot race for it now towards the net sails too far. Just for the moment though, back to Andrade. Now to Ruffini. Ruffini getting some help by Victor Lamb. Now Zach Wood. And Wood doubles back just a little bit. Now doubles back a little bit more and then goes across the field. And big Frank the Tank, Frank Ajay was there. Dishes it off to Carter Weeb. Here is Haywood. Now Ruffini. Ruffini sends it over to Lamb. Lamb stops it, and dishes over to Wood. Wood threads a needle over to Ruffini. Ruffini had that one take a hop, skip, and a jump. Now it belongs to the Pilots. 
Pilots with a fake, another one, as they wait for reinforcements and to go up on offense here. Johannes Barnes, cross to Morello. Morello leans into that one off the head of Chubati. Frank J races out there. We'll tie up. A slide. Edwin Ali was in the vicinity. And Bangu was as well for Providence. So that kick. Ali races out to take it. Really leans into that one. It eluded. Camilo Rodriguez and said it was Sean Kirkpatrick. He got the touch on it to make sure it stays with Pra for now. Approaching 34 minutes. Batty chops at that one. Lamb had it just for a second though. As the pilots move it up. Frank J keeps it on the ground to Ruffini. Blue Beetle has it right now. Flips it back over to Ruffini. Ruffini muscled off the ball there by Johannes Barnes. Pilots searching for the equalizer. Corner kick coming up for Providence. That one twisting and turning. It eluded everybody. All the way to the other side of the field though. Number 24 was Derek Bergen. No call, nothing going on there. Play continues here. Johannes Barnes again sends it towards Annette. And Souza calmly, coolly takes it. as Prov starts to gain a little bit of pressure here on the Bobcats. Frank Ajay tangled up with that Prov player. As we take a look at the replay here. So 36 minutes played here. Pilots trying to find that equalizer. That one ricochets off a of Bobcat player. We got a foot raise for it. It's Ruffini in there. That was Ume for Prav. So stays one nil here and it belongs to the Bobcats. Lamb throws it in to Haywood. Haywood doubles back. Victor Andrade looks up ahead. Had a vision and found Camilo Rodriguez. Here's Frank Ajay. Carter Weave had the double back, but able to pick it up though for the Bobcats. Haywood controls it very calmly. Now Zach Wood sends it across to Camilo Rodriguez. Short little pass and a beauty at bat to Wood. Sliding, kicking it out of play, Sean Kirkpatrick. Oh, 
Lamb throws it in to Andrade. A kick. Looking for Frank and Jay. Edwin Ali was there and he puts it in. Right place, right time for the human skyscraper, Edwin Ali, six foot five. Yeah. And let's take a look at the replay here. This one's so nice, we get to see it twice. Frank and Jay got that touch, deflected off that prov player, and boom, there's the big man, Big E, Edwin Ali, and it's 2-0 for the Bobcats. Here's Wood, his eyes lit up like a Christmas tree as he saw that one coming and he's still going. It's Zach Wood. I'm on. And his pilots need to get something cooking here. May was there. And I believe the possession belongs to Prov here. So throw in by Morello, number 14. So the pilots gain some serious yardage all the way down the field. Just over 39 minutes played. Rufini Ali, the goal scorers for the Bobcats. So Victor Lamb, power in his hands, throws it down the sideline, and it's going to go out of play. Leaked a little left right at the last possible moment. Throw in by Prov. Tight at the sideline there, Camillo. Haywood. Haywood puts the brakes on, makes a nice little shifty pass to Camilo Rodriguez. Here goes Camilo, trying to find the edge, got tangled up, throwing it towards the front of the net. Big E was there again, lurking in the weeds. Tough guy to, to hide there is the big man, six foot five, Edwin Ali, one of the goal scorers for the Bobcats here in this first half against the visiting Providence Pilots out of Otterburn. Frank Ajay, Zach Wood. with Ali. Prov will come away with it. No worse for wear. Send it down the field. A header that allows him to gain a little bit more yardage. Then Andrade erases it all as he kicks it towards midfield with a little bit of help from his friends. A Jay, short pass, Haywood. Ruffini. Camilo Rodriguez. And Rodriguez is tripped up. And we got a yellow card issued here, ladies and gentlemen. Camilo, Camilo in a little bit of pain here. But he's up on his feet. And the pilots are gonna have their work cut out for them now. Last thing they wanna do is give up a third goal here before halftime. They're gonna have a three-man wall built up. Two talented Bobcats staring right at him. That kick a little bit too much on it, a little boomerang action, and then it goes out of play. So that's low and on the ground there for the pilots. 
they try to get on the board here. And Zach Wood is a burr in their saddle right now. As Wood tries to gain some separation, he cuts through those Prov players. He's still going and it's out of play. Time winding down on this first half here. Got a Bobcat player profile on Julian Dazon Grimmel coming up when we're through the first 45 minutes. Mr. Haywood will be responsible for this one. The kick is there, it deflects off a Prov player instead. They're gonna be a, a showdown for it here with time winding down. Lamb got tripped up. They got a whistle. Pilot's kick coming up. Chibati with the header. Blue Beetle races back for it. Does the, the simple thing and puts it off an opposing player's shin and out of play it went. Pilots trying to get one late here. Make things interesting going into the second half. Jabadi using that high soccer IQ of his. Victor Lamb, short pass, Wood trying to thread the needle to Camilo Rodriguez. Rodriguez with a burst of speed. Barnes with the kick. Got the wind assisting him. Out of play it went. Still belongs to the visiting pilots. Ume. Now to Amon. Kicks it across the field. Still controlled by Prov. Put that one right smack dab on the money, but Andrade rising to the occasion. Pilots, no time winding down here, trying to push the issue here a little bit. Morello. Chibati there. Frank J just gets a foot on it. Sailed way up and over onto the other side. Scramble for it. And Vasquez swatched that one to slowly creep into his waiting arms. Morello with a kick. Plays ooh, pretty much perfectly when you think about it. Going to lead to a scoring opportunity here, perhaps, for the Pilots. No, here is Haywood. Got it out of harm's way, and back come the Bobcats. And they got strong numbers to boot with Frank and Jay, Camilo Rodriguez. Rodriguez put the brakes on, got, tried to get it back over to Frank and Jay. Instead, it was Amon. Jay throws it in. Haywood backwards started from with Big Frank. He got tangled up. Play continues. Gareth Rayner. Into Bobcat territory it went. Doubling back was Ume with Victor Lamb watching him. We got the whistles. First half is in the books and it's the Bobcats leading by a pair as we go into the halftime break. Enjoy this Bobcat player profile.
Julian Desangramel was the longest of long shots. I always told myself, like, if I, if I do something, I'm going to give it my all. But against all odds, he's become a valuable member of the Brandon University men's soccer team. That speaks very highly of his character and who he is, and you can't help but just respect for that because that's someone who you love to have on your team. Opportunities to play were few and far between growing up, but his passion was ingrained in him from the beginning. Desangramel's dad immigrated from France in the 1990s and started the farm in small town Manitoba. Dad, just you're so amazed by the Canada, how open it was, it was like the landscape and everything. You just wanted to move. The family later established a used oil recycling business near Notre Dame. They also took the initiative to kickstart a youth soccer program. Dad, right away, he got us like all my four siblings got in the in the in the game and started playing right away, and I just got hooked on it. I loved it, so I kept playing, and, and here I am now, I guess. <laughs> The club was short-lived, however, and Desangramel bounced around from team to team in neighboring communities. He eventually had to leave the game behind for three years. I haven't played in a while, and I was pretty rusty. But uh, come here, and the atmosphere was really good. People just kept pushing me, and you know my skill came, skill came back. And Desangramel's drive to persevere became evident. Anytime there's something positive going on the field, he's usually involved, and I think that just speaks volume about him, and he's works hard and he's just going to always try and make the right play and do what it takes for the team so it, and it doesn't surprise me that he's always in the mix there when there's positive play going on. In Desangramel's rookie season his BU team reached the Manitoba College's athletic conference final only to finish one win shy of claiming the championship and earning a berth to nationals. I really like our team we got a lot, a lot of new talent coming so we're really, really hoping we can go to Nationals this year, really pushing through it. For Desangramel, dealing with adversity is part of the journey, and he jumps at the chance to overcome obstacles and reach new horizons. Start from the bottom and then show what you're able to do and show, show your skills.
Second half about to get underway here at HLC Field. Host Bobcats, Providence Pilots in action here. Beautiful day for soccer here in Brandon. And the Bobcats have got a 2-0 advantage going into the second half here. Ruffini and Edwin Ali, the goal scorers for the Bobcats in that opening half. Earlier today, MCAC women's soccer action. Bobcats picking up a victory, 6-1 over the Pilots. Brogan Henry, four goals in the first half. In fact, all goals, all the offense came in the first half. Bobcats, 6-1 winners over the Pilots in women's soccer action. These Providence Pilots entering action. Undefeated, 2-0 record. As we're up and underway. T. Cray alongside for the broadcast here. WCGTV, Westman Communications Group. All the bells and whistles back together again for another year of Bobcat broadcast. Soccer teams are the first ones out of the gate. First volleyball broadcast won't be till the end of October. Early November for basketball. Julian Desangramel is on the field here for the Bobcats. Christian Rodriguez as well for BU. If you stuck around at the end of the first half, you saw the player profile on Julian Desangramel. If you missed it, head on over to gobobcats.ca to see that story as well. Early opportunity here. Got a body in front. That keeps it 2-0 Bobcats. Here's Haywood. And Haywood will race out there. Well, he made a smart play there to deflect it off the Providence player just the last possible moment. And the possession belongs to the Bobcats. 18, Zach Woods out there. Number four, Victor Lamb. Camilla Rodriguez. Edwin Ali, six foot five. One of the goal scorers for the Bobcats. On the back end, Andrade and Shibati. Between the pipes, Souza. Going towards the front of the net, Christian Rodriguez. Threading the needle right down Main Street to Zach Wood. Wood keeps it for the Bobcats as they get across into pilot territory to flex off a player out of play. Number 19, Ruffini for BU. Ruffini had the first one, Edwin Ali the second one. Zach Wood, MCAC Player of the Week. Andrade, no look pass to Victor Lamb, the one we call Drago. Here on campus at BU, there's Edwin Ali. There's Haywood. Thought about it, dished it back out to Wood. Pilots will pick it up. Colliding there, the Bobcats on the Pilots. Wind a tad bit of a factor here at HLC Field. Pilots down two. If they want to rally back, they're working their way into the wind. There's the whistle, and here's the kick. A deflection, ooh, dangerous looking. Oh, off the post and in. Blink your eyes twice and you would have missed it. But the Pilots are right back in the ball game now. That was 21, Zach Harmon. And let's take a look at the replay. 
off the pipe with authority and into the back of the net. Second half just getting started and you couldn't have asked for a better start for the Providence Pilots. Trimming that deficit, now it's two to one. Bodies flying all over the place here as well. Bobcats with the corner kick. Victor Lamb. Slow. Pilots picked it off. Christian Rodriguez lets it go. Kick is going to sail out of play. And Julian Desangramel grabs it. Send it over to co captain Nathan Chabadi. Mateus Sosa. Sosa keeps it on the ground. Over to Chabadi. Across the field to Victor Andrade. Andrade faked the kick, got it back to Sosa. Sosa makes a move on it. All of a sudden, it kind of feels like momentum has turned. It's shifted in favor of the visitors, the Providence Pilots. You got back within one here off the foot of Zach Harmon with some assistance from the pipe as well. Victor Lamb slide it over to Haywood. He was moving it up, Edwin Ali. The human skyscraper for the Bobcats. Here is Zach Wood. Thought he was gonna go. No, sir. And Wood's in some discomfort here. We got a sub in for Zach Wood. Number 13, Chalufa is in here for BU as he tries to make an impact with one of the veteran Bobcats. Taking a breather here. They drop it and they're right back at it again. And Barnes blasts that one and almost knocked one of our camera people for a loop up there as that ball heads down towards Clark Hall. It's still rolling. There's Haywood with the header. Christian Rodriguez as well. Some fancy footwork to advance it. Ali. Number four, Victor Lamb. Ruffini puts the brakes on. A shot. Not going to go anywhere. That one towards the net. Camilo Rodriguez on his horse. Couldn't track it down in time.
Side kick, a bit of a sidewinder. Dazong Gramel got in the way. Camilo Rodriguez. Rodriguez faked the first shot. Now Christian Rodriguez. Camillo keeps. Gonna find the edge. Tangle up. Possession still belongs to the Bobcats. Their lead, though, trimmed down to one. After a goal by Zach Harmon early on in this second half. The two teams will meet again next Saturday out in Otterburn. Then next Sunday, the Pilots hosting CMU Blazers. Bobcats back here at HLC Field next Sunday. Crosstown rival ACC will be here. Ruffini, Rodriguez. Who's gonna be the one? Put it right on the money. Try to restore that two goal cushion here. Camillo keeps it low, deflected, and in. And I may need to take a peek at the replay here, but I'm pretty sure, as long as my eyes weren't deceiving me here, that that ricocheted off a Prov player and in. Great work in the truck, guys, and yes, it was. And that's what happens from time to time. Regardless how it shakes itself out in the wash, it's three to one for the Bobcats. Off the head of Chabadi. Chalufa put it up there. There's a header. Second one as well. Desangramel. Got a whistle on the play, and it's the Pilots with an opportunity. Bangu tries to bend that one towards the net. Desangramel moves it out of harm's way. Edwin Ali glued to his foot. And Zongramel advances it, and there goes Camilo Rodriguez. As quick as a lightning strike, he can do it. Tries to find the edge, out of play he went. Three to one for BU. Let's advance it. Victor Lamb kicked it back into Prov. Into the Prov zone there. A little tangle up. Amon was. And Haywood looked like he maybe got stepped on too there. He's kind of limping there a little bit, but doesn't look any worse for wear now. Eating up some yardage as we get into Providence territory here to the Bobcats. Number 13, Chalufa. Rafini sends it across to the veteran, Christian Rodriguez. That shot off square off the back of Singh Sidhu. Zongramel, the pride in Notre Dame. Rafini steps back. Still got it, still with him. Bobcats will double back. They'll reset up on offense here. Like a magnet to the foot of Lamb. Lamb tried to step in there. Here we go the other way. Gonna be a close play here. Chabadi doing the right thing. And gets it out of harm's way.
It is three to one. There's a header. Camilo, oh, makes a nifty little pass there to Camilo Rodriguez. It was with Camilo, then Christian. And Christian Rodriguez just lost the handle on it. Julian DeZongramel getting into the mix. Now Rafini. Here goes Haywood. Haywood holds, holds. Got Morello glued to him. Pilots looking to push back here. Racing out there, Sosa way out there and absolutely launches that one right back at the Providence Pilots. Remember, he's got that win with him this time. Sailing towards the net. Ends up with the Bobcats though one more time. Here is Camilo Rodriguez. I'm gonna make a move, trying to find the edge. Could not. Pilots starting from the bottom, gonna work their way back up to the top here, potentially. That one just zipped over the top of the head of Christian Rodriguez. Pilots gain some yardage and get their way up and across. Well, they got no choice but to double back again one more time. Barnes leading the charge here. Now Singh Sidhu leans into that one. We got a whistle. And a yellow card. So things are getting interesting here again. Just when you think the Bobcats have Cruising along here a little bit. You got a whistle, you get a card. And it gives Providence an opportunity here to get back within one, one more time here. And Gareth Rayner is gonna give it a try here. Blocked by the Bobcats. It's right there for the taking. You got all kinds of, of men in blue ready to take it back the other way. They could not. Still controlled by Providence. Can they make something happen here? A deflection, it eludes. Victor Lamb is going towards the net, just a little bit off the mark, and Souza just gonna make sure it's nowhere near that yawning cage. Sliding play with Camilo Rodriguez in the mix. So a throw in. Haywood. Camilo Rodriguez caught the edge, fires it, and sails it over the net. Pilots. Trying to push the pace here as we reach 64 minutes of play. Derek Bergen dropped it off to Hibbert. Hibbert had the lone goal for the Pilots on Thursday as they blanked the St. Boniface Le Rouge to improve their record to a perfect 2-0. 
their undefeated streak to start the season in jeopardy here right now as they trail the Cats by a score of three to one. That one's up and across. Camilo Rodriguez. And here's Julian Desangramel. Here goes Desangramel. Can he dangle? Yes, he can. Can he get it towards the net? No. Glorious opportunity there for the Bobcats. And they almost capitalized on it. Here is Haywood. Operating on a full tank of gas at all times is Bryson Haywood. That one's up there for the taking. A nice header there by Chalufa, number 13. Pilots trying to dangle their way in there. And that one's out of play. Derek Bergen will scout the situation here. Oh, we got to tangle up. Two gladiators there, Victor Lamb. A little bit too much though. As the pilots try to fight tooth and nail to get back into this thing. As the official has the power in his hand right now and it is about to Drop it down and it's all one-on-one -on -one showdown here right now. As Gareth Rayner, number 10, with Souza. Here it comes. And it's stopped by Souza. Rebound and another stop. Good gravy. What a sequence of events right there. That is game altering right there as it keeps the Bobcats ahead by two. And I tell you what, a highlight reel material right here. You can, there you go. There's the first one. And then how about the effort on the second one? Oh my. That is And we're back, yes, okay. So he's gonna have to do it all over again and couldn't do it that time. So what a turn of events there. Blink your eyes twice and you'd miss everything. All right, it's three to two. So, Bobcat's going to have short memory banks now. Souza kicks that one downfield. Edwin Ali lost the handle on it. Still going though. You can feel the intensity picking up here on both sides. As we approach 69 minutes to play, flip a coin. This one is still for the taking for either team. So I guess the reasoning behind that 
That second penalty kick was because Julian had a handball in the box to Zongramel. So what of a turn of events that was. All of a sudden you think it's got a, a big momentum surge for the Bobcats for making those back-to-back -back saves. Pilots get essentially a do-over. And it's three to two. Here is the Zongramel. Thought maybe he was going to be off to the races. Yeah, this one's getting, getting, getting testy out here. So here's the kick, it's off the head of Lamb, out of play. Here's the throw in. Oh, that one eludes. Eluded the Bobcats and then walking that tightrope was Prov. Here's Christian Rodriguez. Trying to get, get rid of it. Could not. It deflected. Seventy-one minutes in. This is gonna be a full out grind the rest of the way. to the Cats. There's your co-captain. Jabati sends that one down. All kinds of yardage. And here is Camilo Rodriguez. Puts the brakes on. Can he do something magnificent here? Can Camilo Rodriguez, the MVP last year, CCAA All-Canadian. Here is Camillo, he's still going, he's still fighting for it in that one. Prav just kicking it out of harm's way. Throw in, ooh. He would kind of juggle it there a little bit, but it's still with the Bobcats. No, it's, it's Lamb with it. Kicks it all the way to the other side of the field. Here's Julian DeZongramel. Zongramel trying to make his move. He still got it. The Zongramel fires. Didn't catch all of it. And that one scooped up by Santiago Vasquez. Back and forth we go here. Pilots with a chance. Trying to get around Victor Lamb. We got a whistle. Here goes Camilo Rodriguez. Got the power on his doorstep. Firing and scoring! Edwin Ali! His second goal of the contest. And a clutch one at that. Here's a look at it on the replay. That's two goals. And that one once again restoring a two goal cushion for the Bobcats. This one's had more twists and turns than a scenic railway this game. Does that finally put an exclamation mark on this contest for the Bobcats? Or do the Providence Pilots have one more push in them? Played just over 74 minutes here. Victor Lamb rising to the occasion. Here's Andrade. 
Pushing that one across. The big man, Edwin Ali, with one, two goals. One in the first and a monster one here in the second half for the Bobcats. Pushing the pace one more time. Here are the pilots. They're not going away quietly. They've been right on the doorstep multiple times here. Zongramel just off his foot. Does this open the door of opportunity one more time for the pilots here? A throw in there by Johannes Barnes sliding at it. And the possession will belong to Providence here. So long, high throw in. Jabati got the first touch on it. Desongramel as well. And Julian Desongramel makes a fantastic play as the Bobcats eat up some serious yardage and get all the way into pilot territory here. Julian Desongramel. I don't know if you could see it actually on the camera or not, but man, he walked the tightrope there to get that all the way down the other side of the field. A little give and go right at midfield for pilots. Gareth Rayner trying to thread the needle. Hibbert on the move and on the run here. Taps it up and there's a race for it. Just kicking it. Chopping it right back the other way is your co-captain of the Bobcats, Chabadi. Going shoulder to shoulder there for the Bobcats and the Pilots. Good looking kick off the top of a pilot head. Throw in by Prov. The pilots maintain it right now. Little tap pass. Looked like Providence had something going there. Andrade. Downfield to Camilo Rodriguez. Haywood slid to block that shot. Now he's down on the field. And in a little bit of discomfort here. So here we go. Pilots double back, reset. And here's another potential push from the visitors. They trail four to two. Johannes Barnes finding the edge over Victor Lamb. And one more time, well, the pilots, I don't know, they're not gonna be denied here. They keep fighting tooth and nail, scratching Crawling all their way back into this one again. And one more time, the lead for the Bobcats is just one here. The 
both these teams are facing their share of adversity here. There's no doubt about it. Bobcats trying to seal this thing up. For Prov, it's the other way. It's them battling all the way back to try to keep their undefeated streak to start the season going here. They got two, they want to make it three. Nice sliding play there, right in front of our broadcast table there by Christian Rodriguez. Camilo Rodriguez thought he was off to the races. We got number 12, Matt Wolf for the Bobcats who has subbed in as well here late in this contest. Played over 80 minutes here. It's gonna go down to the wire. Nathan Chabatti, a boomerang kick. Off the head of Matt Wolf. Down on the far corner there, trying to will his way towards the front of the net. Christian Rodriguez, a short pass. To Wolf sends it towards the front of the net. The Zongramel was waiting in the wings. Here is Victor Lamb. Lamb going toe to toe with Barnes. Javadi, right place, right time to send it right back into pilot territory. Quick on the trigger. Oh, and he just missed the far post. That kick is, oh, it's kept in play. I thought that was a surefire out of bounds kick there. Here's Hibbert. Rainer dished it off to Sing Sadu. There's a header racing out for it. Souza was there, and I'm not 100% sure what exactly happened here if, if Souza clipped. And up on his feet, Nathan Chabatti, tougher than a $2 steak. There's no way you're taking him off of the field here, if he has his way. We're going down to the wire here. Another close play. We're approaching 83 minutes now. For the Bobcats, you got a Kind of a mixed bag here, a little sprinkle of everything. You got some veterans out there. You got some some young players that are getting the opportunity to play in this in this big moment. <laughs> Any Bobcat supporter that's here watching in person, or maybe on WCG TV was collective sigh of relief there because that was almost the equalizer. Right back the other way, can we get another insurance marker? Can the Bobcats get it? That one sent over to the steel cage, the fence over there. As these final minutes here, it's turning into a good old fashioned gutter war here at HLC Field. Just think about this, these two teams face off again next weekend out in Otterburn. They're getting to know each other quite well here to start this MCAC season, the header. Another inch the other way.
I got the feeling here that something's something big's gonna happen here for one of these two teams. Well, here's a kick and it's in! Mr. Wolf! Matt Wolf! Ho ho! What did I just say? Look at the little dance here. Yeah, fancy footwork there. <laughs> and it's so nice we get to see this one twice. Look at that, Camilo Rodriguez, and then it is Matt Wolf. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? And don't go anywhere, just when you think this one's all sealed up. Another chance for Providence, and it is in! Unbelievable! Well, Bryce is in charge of putting the scores up there, and he's, he's getting his money's worth here right now. This is just unbelievable. Check this out. Just at the last possible second and just out of the reach of Souza. Man alive, what a game this has been. Here goes Camilo Rodriguez. Does he have a chance at it? And he, oh, ho, ho. And that's out of play. Zongramel's got it. Flips it up, but it's out of play. So the throw in. And back out of play one more time. This Angramel, that one eluded him. Haywood. Kicked out of play one more time. Prov, not wasting any time, throwing it right back in there. 87, almost 88 minutes. Here might be another dangerous opportunity in Shabbati. This leans into that one, and out of play it goes. Well, I said it, there was there was a big moment coming. Matt Wolf got that one, but is there still one more big time moment out there awaiting one of these two teams here with it being five to four? And what has been an absolute thriller here at HLC Field. Like a spinning top there somehow works its way away from the Bobcats net. Barnes will keep for now. Looking to make a move against Victor Lamb. Desangra Mel. Every ounce of fiber in his being kicks it towards midfield. And we're not done yet. The world's looking pretty large in the window here right now. Who is going to get to the finish line here? Both these teams have been pouring their heart out here. Hey, 
Andrade. Leans the end of that one, sailing it all the way across at the foot of Camilo Rodriguez. He doubles back. He's gonna try to make a move here one more time. Way down on the other side of the field. There's 12, Mr. Wolf, Matt Wolf, who right now has the go ahead goal for the Bobcats, 5 4. Here goes Haywood. Haywood trying to find that edge. There goes Christian Rodriguez. It's over in the far corner now. Pilots, Bobcats, they've both fought tooth and nail here. And what's been an absolute barn burner in that one is a heat seeking missile that just hit my car. Lamb sends it up. Does it Dizon Grimel. Here goes Lamb, Lamb. And we got a player down right in front of the broadcast table here. And that is Barnes. As you can see, we've surpassed 90 minutes here, so you know cry, cry, cry. that that final whistle is just around the corner. Can the Bobcats hang in there against a Providence Pilots team that has pushed them to the absolute brinking point? They push them to the brink and back again. Who knows, maybe this could be your MCAC final. They're leaving it all out there for you anyway. Here comes the kick, Camilo Rodriguez. Sacrificing, getting right in front of it were the pilots. And Matt Wolf leaping to the heavens, spring loaded to get that one out of play. Barnes, got it, dished it right back. Ooh, we got a whistle here. All right, batting down the hatches here. Extra time. Gareth Rayner, that one looks good. It is there, it is out of play. How close was that one? Here we go again one more time. Camilo Rodriguez. One final push, all tangled up. Into the barbed wire went the Bobcats. That's a good looking shot. It looked good from here. It's tough to tell from this vantage point just, just how close that kick was to going in. An extra time here, burning the candle at both ends and in the middle. That one's thrown in. Camilo Rodriguez. Here's a chance at it. Oh, it just misfired. You can hear that kick all the way back in Notre Dame there to Zongra Mel. He darn near lit the lamp here at HLC Field. And if there was a roof, on this joint that would have gone off it, no doubt about it, if Desangra Mel would have lit the lamp there. 
I'm running out of words to describe this. It's too early in the year to have a game like this. But it's been a doozy. So Souza leans into it perhaps for the final time. I don't know. Matt Wolf got a head on it. Here come the pilots. Johannes Barnes. Does he have a flair for the dramatics one more time here towards the net? Oh! Well, after this game, they'll all sleep like babies, I can tell you that much. 5-4 Bobcats. Been quite the showdown between these two here. Here is Zach Harmon, he had it, tried to dish it. Out of play it goes. Skipped over the top of the foot. Christian Rodriguez. It's all loose ball. Hey, I'm throwing it in here. No, he's going to have to wait here for a second. They're slowly but surely making their way down there. And Sakara throws it in. Christian Rodriguez, a tangled up, still there is a... He went toe to toe there down in the far corner. Oh, and then we end up getting a yellow card out of it. This has been quite the game. Here comes the kick. And Shabbat, he's got to clear it. There's another chance at it. Into the far corner it goes, and as Angermel watches it go out of play. Gareth Rayner. Into the wind, twisting, turning, it's it there, it's in! Oh my goodness! Can you believe this? Five, five. And here's a look at the replay. Let's just see here, if we can slow it down here. Look at that header right there. Timing it to perfection. Gets through Sosa, past the far post. And just like that, we are all square. Five, five. The Bobcats have never trailed in this game. And the pilots have thrown everything at them but the kitchen sink here. And somehow, 
found a way to tie things up. And I don't know, I think from a Bobcat perspective. Now they will face adversity square in the eye here. As we keep on going here. This game has been just a lot of chapters, a lot of layers to the onion of this one. And the Bobcats, wow, this is, for them, this has got to be just a, that's got to be a heartbreaker for the Bobcats. And talk about a Providence Pilots team that still stays undefeated on the season. Two wins and a hard fought 5-5 five, five draw here and, and one for the ages to be perfectly honest with you here at HLC Field this afternoon. Bobcats had multiple two goal cushions but just couldn't finish the job. And then in extra time, a corner kick, a header, and it's the pilots that somehow eked that one out. And I'd like to have saw an angle inside the goal crease just to see how close that was between going in from the edge of the post to where Souza was and for that header to find its way through. And did it deflect off somebody else along the way? But for the Bobcats, I mean, that's, those are some extra points there that slip through their fingers here. And and there's, yeah, I, for the Bobcats, I'm sure they're kind of thinking, hey, for them, this feels like a loss for them. And, and for the Pilots, it feels like a win, knowing what the, the, the two teams had to endure to get to this. Unbelievable, and this epic showdown, regular season, first meeting of the season between these two teams, and it ends in a stunning 5-5 draw between the Pilots and the Bobcats. Well, that'll do it for our men's broadcast here. We had quite the afternoon of soccer, didn't we? Women's team victorious, Bobcats, Seem to have it within their grasp. And the pilots went and snatched it away from them in heartbreaking fashion. And this one ends a dramatic goal right pretty well smack dab at the buzzer. And it ends 5-5 five, five between the pilots and the Bobcats. Thanks a lot for joining us on our broadcast. WCG TV, West Band Communications Group and perhaps you've been watching on our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. It's a hard fought 5-5 draw between the Bobcats and the Pilots. Woo.